Hello, Lions, and welcome to your uh, Sociology Cultural Practices Around the World video helper. All right, so you can go to readylibrary.com or you can click on your Mac and Via group here on your uh, document, and then this video helper will be linked here. It will also be linked here and embedded down here, and it will also be available in your Mac and Via group. So you are going to go into your Mac and Via group here. And you are going to click on uh, this right here. You can click on the four squares to change how you see the resources in here. Up here in the view instructions, you will be able to click on your project sheet to view that. And then here are the different cultural practices that you have to choose from for this particular assignment. Um, so for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to use machismo. Um, just know that not every single one of these is going to be in every single resource down here. And so you are going to have to discern by looking at the different resources which resource you think is going to provide you with the best information. And you may have to use more than one of these resources resources uh, to find all the information that Ms. Beckerman is looking for here. Okay, so you want to make sure that you get your basic information, your history of the practice, if that is something that's applicable, uh, an analysis of the practice, and a sociological analysis. Okay, and so you're going to have to determine, you're going to have to determine if one of these resources is going to be better than another or if you're going to have to use multiple ones. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So Britannica School, so over here in this um, document right here, you will notice that I tell you about the different types of resources that are available in the databases. So each one of these, Britannica School, Explorer, GVRL, InfoTrack Newsstand, Posing uh, posing viewpoints and context, Sears researchers. These are different resources. Within each of these resources are different types of sources. Those different types of sources Those different types of sources, hopefully will come up here in a second. So there are some basic types of sources. There are encyclopedia articles. There are magazine articles. There are reference and nonfiction ebooks and articles. And then there are news sources. And then there are academic journals and scholarly journals. So these are the basic types of sources that you're going to find in these different databases. So depending on what your topic is and what part of your topic you're researching, you are going to have to discern which ones of these resources is going to be the best choice to find out about that particular part of your topic. And so I tell you here what this resource is about. I tell you how you can use this type of resource and then what um, which databases these re this type of resource can be found in, okay? So you're going to want to use this document right here. You may also want to refer at times to this document here. This just helps you um, using your sources with academic integrity, okay? Um, you are going to want to have a references page to keep your uh, sources and citations on, um, so that you have that for your um, assignment, okay? So you can, I, I will add, I don't have it in here yet, but I will add a link up here to a references page where you can keep track of your citations. All right, so those two documents are going to be helpful for you as you are researching. All right, so I'm just going to start with Britannica School because it's an encyclopedia. If I don't even know what machismo is, this would be a good place for me to just look it up and get some basic general information about this particular topic. So this is a very short article, but it tells me what machismo is. Okay, If I wanted to cite this article and use it as part of my project, I would copy and paste this and put it onto my references page. All right. Um, the next place that I might want to go would be something like student resources and context because this is going to be a very comprehensive database. It's going to give me all those different types of sources that I showed you on that sources page. 
and it's going to um, provide me with a variety of sources. So you see here I have nine reference articles, three biographies, one image. I have some news articles, some magazine articles, some academic art journals, and some critical essays. So I might want to start at reference and just um, see what kind of reference articles there are. So you can see there are different places mentioned here. I'm going to just click on this machismo article here just because I want to try and get some more information about it. If this was an article I wanted to use, I could um, grab my citation by clicking on citation tools and making sure that I choose APA and then copy and paste this citation into my references page. All right, so that is um, student resources in context. If I wanted to find an academic journal, like perhaps I'm looking at that analysis portion of this, I might want to choose an academic journal because it might give me uh, some insights into analysis of this particular topic. All right. Um, so that is student resources in context. If I'm looking for news articles, InfoTrack Newsstand is going to give me magazines, newspapers, uh, those types of things. The other piece that I want to show you is up here you can always do advanced searches in any of these databases which will provide you with the opportunity to put in machismo and something else or not this. So um, you can you can always do an advanced search here. Okay, So I'm going to go back and just do a basic search. You'll see there's 26,000 news articles there's almost a thousand magazine articles so this is a lot of different sources so I can do a couple of different things I can come down here and I can tell it that I'm looking for specific types if I, if I want to look for a specific subject okay so I could uh, narrow it down here by subject I can also narrow it down by publication date if I want I can also come over here to this topic finder and I can, I like to look at it on the wheel view, but if you like the tile view, that works too. But I might click on the wheel view, and this way I can see um, what, am I, what are my options here when I'm looking at machismo. Um, and then I can choose um, a portion of this wheel, and it's going to narrow down my search results that way. Okay? All right. Um, a couple of other databases that are going to offer you um, some basic information would be GVRL. You can put your topic in here. Okay. And you will notice, again, I have document types, publication titles, subjects. So I can narrow it down over here. These are going to be a lot of ebooks and reference articles in this particular database. Um, if I use Explora, or Sears Discover. So Explora is going to offer me, again, a lot of different types of sources. So I'm going to put my search term in here. Okay, and so then if I was going to use this, you can, if I was going to use this particular article, I would just click on the article. And then over here, I would click on the wait for it to load I would click on the site button right here and then I could grab my citation for this article if this was one that I was going to use and I would pull that APA citation and copy and paste that in this particular database you will notice that the different types of sources are over here so I have encyclopedias academic journals magazines books news etc okay all right um, in the Sears discoverer I can come over here and I can put in my word here and again I have my different types of sources over here newspapers magazines etc okay so if I wanted to um, use one of these I would come here and then I would click over here on the site button and I would pull the APA citation here. Okay. All right. So um, those are the basic types of sources. Opposing viewpoints and context is going to give you um, 
results on both sides of the issue. Like if people have various opinions, it's going to give you results on those. Um, I only put a couple, there's a, a couple of databases in here that you may want to use as you're building your slides because Ms. Beckerman really wants you to focus on content. So don't spend a bunch of time Googling images and things. Use either the Noun Project or Unsplash. These are going to be great places for you to get icons or images for this project. You don't have to cite any of the images that you use from either of these, okay? And if you're going to be in Google Slides, there is actually an add-on that you can use when you're in Google Slides. So I'm just going to come over here. And I'm going to come out of this. And I'm going to go to New, Google Slides, okay? And so I can come up here to add-ons. And you'll notice that my noun project and Unsplash is right here, but I can go to get add-ons and I can get the add-ons for uh, Unsplash and, and uh, noun project. And then I can search right here within um, Google Slides to add those. So these will be very easy ways for you to grab some images without spending a lot of time trying to find images and googling and then trying to cite them. If you can't find what you need here, I suggest you go to Britannica Image Quest and search this for images. You do need to provide the citations should you use any of these images, but you can easily do that. Um, I'm just going to put in my search term here. And when you search for things here, you may have to kind of alter your search terms a little bit, but um, you know, you could use um, you could use any of these images. All you have to do is click here and then click cite and then make sure you grab the APA citation. Um, if you guys have any questions or you need any help, you can email me lambertin at friscoisd.org or you can come see me in the library. I'll be happy to help you if you're having trouble finding uh, the information that you need for any of these um, topics. Good luck, Lions.